Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helen and welcome back to my channel, Helena's Astrophotography. So I just wanted to clear something up with you guys um, before I start today's video. Um, it's about an upload time and date. Um, so my good friend Shu Rayner, who is a fantastic author and illustrator, he's got two channels, Shu Rayner and also Draw Stuff Really Easy. I'm going to link both of his channels down in the description, so make sure to check them out after this video. So Shu recommended that I had a set upload date and time so you guys can be ready to watch. Um, I totally agree with this. So I've decided to set it as 6pm on a Wednesday evening every week. I'd love to say I could make every Wednesday for you guys but I have got other commitments other than YouTube. But if I don't make, if I know I'm not going to make the upload I'll be sure to let you guys know. Last week, I can't explain it, it was just the best week ever. So um. Trevor from Astro Backyard, a lot of you will have come from his channel if you haven't already, which I'm very surprised if you haven't. I will link his channel down in the description. Be sure to check it out. He's an absolute legend. So Trevor, um, got, I got in touch with Trevor uh, about a week and a half ago, um, not expecting to hear anything back. He got back. He's loading me with loads and loads and loads of advice and motivation and I know a lot of you guys have come from his channel so thank you so much for subscribing. So Trevor if you're watching thank you for all the advice and all the tips and tricks and motivation you're giving me. It really means the world to me. I hope you're getting great clear nights over in Canada. Unfortunately I'm not getting very clear nights at the moment. It is a really cloudy day today and it has been for the past week. Um, but I'm going to try and make the most of the clear nights that I get. So without further ado guys, let's get on with the video. So today I thought I'd show you some of my astrophotography that I've taken with my 10 inch Dobsonian telescope. I'm going to flash the photo up at you on your screen and I'm going to be talking to you about the ISO, the exposure time and the F number. The F number is also known as the, fo also known as the focal ratio and the focal ratio is also known as the aperture and the aperture controls how much light is let into the photo. So, for example, how light or dark the photograph is. The shutter speed also works alongside the focal ratio and I'm going to be referring to the shutter speed as the exposure time. So the exposure time is how long the photo is being taken for. All these specifications will be up on your screen so you can pause the video and check them out. So, the first photo that will be up on your screen now is my uh, January 2018 supermoon that I took. Um, so a supermoon, this basically means um, that a supermoon versus uh, a normal moon. So the supermoon will be um, a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter, so it'll be um, closer to um, Earth. So as you can imagine, the exposure for this uh, was a really, really hard one to capture because obviously I was used to capturing normal moons, not supermoons. Um, but I soon grasped it um, and got this fantastic shot. So uh, I took this at an ISO of 800, an exposure time of 1 640th of a second and an F number of 0. So the next photo I actually took quite recently, it was actually last week I took this shot, and um, this is the crescent moon. So when I was taking this shot, we've got some trees near us, so um, the crescent moon was slowly, slowly, slowly setting and disappearing. Um, so this was a really hard one to get without getting the trees in the way, but I just managed it. Um, so I took this at an ISO of 200, an exposure time of a quarter of a second and an F number of zero again. So the next photo is M42. You might also know it as the Orion Nebula. Um, so, so the shutter speed I had to grasp with this one because I had it on a... Um, I had it on a really high uh, shutter speed, I had it on uh, a shutter speed of, I think it was 30 seconds. Um, and those of you out there who are fellow astrophotographers and astronomers will know that I just got a streak of light. Um, tons and tons of streaks of light. Um, I, soon, so, I soon learned that uh, I had to bunk the exposure down a bit uh, to get this shot. Um, so I took this at an ISO of 6400, an exposure time of 0 0.8 and an F number of 0 again. So the photo up next that I've captured is Sirius, a very bright star that you can easily see with the naked eye. It's one of the brightest ones in the sky, um, next to the Orion constellation. Um, so I took this one at an ISO of 6400, an exposure time of 0 0.8 and an F number of 0. The next one up is the plough. 
Um, so it's an ISO 3200. It's an exposure time of 20 seconds and an F number of 4.5. Now, the reason it's 20 seconds is because I took it with a DSLR camera that I'm shooting now. I did not take it with a telescope. Um, and I was up in the hills. I was nowhere near any light pollution. There was no lights whatsoever. Really, really dark. So I had to capture all that light that was coming from the stars. So I set a really high exposure time um, of 20 seconds. That's why it's much higher than 1 640th and 1 quarter and so on and so on. So the next photo I've got up for you guys is the Super Blood Wolfman. Um, so it started off uh, as a normal supermoon at about 11pm, but this was one of the brightest supermoons I've ever dealt with. The exposure was a, the exposure was such a fiddle with this one. Um, I eventually got it, but I overexposed it at around 11 at night. I got up at half past four in the morning to capture this shot. So I took this one at an ISO of 3200, an exposure time of 0 0.3 and an F number of 0. Um, so it went, yeah, it went from, it went in phases. It went from this really bright supermoon to the blood moon to the partial eclipse, which I'll just put up on your screens right now. So I took the partial eclipse at an ISO of 320, an exposure time of 1 60th of a second and an F number of 0. Um, this one, just before this one, the, just the tip of the moon was lighting up. The, the light coming from it was extraordinary. If I looked through the viewfinder and then I, I took my eyes away and I blinked in the dark. I could see the moon when I blinked. It was that bright. Um, that was just before the partial eclipse and then the partial eclipse came. That was a great evening. I, I'd do anything to do that again. So the last photo I have for you guys today is the constellation Orion. Now I spoke to you about M42, the Orion Nebula, earlier. Now the Orion Nebula is located in Orion's sword, which is three stars down from its belt. Um, and the, it's the middle star. Um, that the nebula is located around. That's how I captured N42, that's how I gauged where it was. But this one, this is the full constellation, um, the full constellation of Orion, which I took at an ISO of 100, an exposure time of 8 seconds, and an F, an F number of 4.5. Now you'll notice again on these specifications that the exposure time is um, 8 seconds. I know it's not 20 seconds, but it's much more than 1 60th of a second and 0 0.3 and, and so on and so on. Um, this was because, again, I was in a very, very dark area. There was no lights whatsoever, no street lights, no windows, nothing. It was, com it was pitch black. So I took that at, a, an, at an exposure of 8 seconds. Now, I think I could have improved... Now, I may be wrong, but I could have improved by focusing this a bit better because um, in the photo you'll notice that the stars are quite big, um, big and round. I could have focused that the tiniest bit more to get them that bit more sharper, um, but I just realised when I got home and projected it onto my computer. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching, it means so much to me. Um, any video ideas, again, leave them down in the comments. I will be doing a den tour very, very soon. I'll be sure to let you know when that's going to be uploaded. I don't think I'm going to be able to make Wednesday's upload, um, this Wednesday's upload, because I'm really, really busy that day. Um, but uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know um, if I change my mind. And of course, if you haven't already, a like would be much appreciated. And hit that big red subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you can be notified when I upload another video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, but until then, bye for now.